My name is Cathy Ruddy and I am a Research Assistant Professor at Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience. In my lab, we are testing a novel multimodal brain computer interface incorporating transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is TMS, and EEG BCI. My name is Colin Simon. I'm a final year PhD candidate at Trinity College Dublin and I work on brain computer interfaces. TMS delivers brief magnetic pulses to the brain to stimulate neural tissue. In this experiment, we place the TMS coil on the scalp location corresponding to the area of the motor cortex that controls hand muscles. If the intensity of the stimulation is high enough to discharge neurons to produce action potentials, a small twitch is produced in the corresponding muscles. Often, the twitch is so small that it is not observable to the naked eye, so we need to record the electrical activity of the muscle using electromyography. With this technique, we can visualize the evoked response in the muscle as a result of the TMS, and this is called a motor evoked potential, or MEP. Larger MEPs reflect increased excitability, or responsiveness, of the brain to muscle pathways. Smaller MEPs result when these pathways are more inhibited or less responsive. MEPs can be made larger or smaller by imagining different mental scenarios. In a previous publication in which we introduced this BCI methodology, we trained participants to make their MEPs larger or smaller using real-time feedback by practicing different mental imagery strategies over a period of four training days. The training to learn how to control this BCI involves multiple trials of single pulse TMS with close to real-time feedback of the amplitude or size of the MEP that just occurred. If we are training the participant to make their MEPs larger, they need to engage their mental imagery strategy to get the bar across the line representing their baseline amplitude. If it is large enough, the trial is a success, the bar is green and a positive sound bite is heard. If not, the bar is red and a negative sound is heard. In the experiment currently ongoing in our lab, we are using this method to prime BCI users before learning to control an EEG BCI and testing whether they subsequently learn to control the BCI more quickly. At the moment, we are in the early stages of a randomised controlled trial funded by the Health Research Board in Ireland to test whether this type of BCI could be used to improve movement and overcome paralysis in the arm and hand in stroke survivors. Ultimately, we hope that by incorporating TMS neurofeedback, we could improve learning to control EEG BCIs, which are more practical for clinical use.